What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're just gonna be doing a quick market update as uh, <laughs> Bitcoin is dropping like a rock, guys. Um, so, you know, we did see this coming. I did warn you guys about the weekly blood diamond, about, you know, the 10 different bearish longer term signals that we had. So we, you know, for the candle mafia, this did not come by surprise to us. I hope some of you were able to get some short positions in as I was. Uh, we're actually gonna be checking in on my trades and then we're gonna jump into the charts. I'm gonna kind of let you guys know what I'm thinking uh, just to keep you guys uh, kind of in the know before we start our live stream tonight at 5.45 p.m. right after ATB, guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check on these trades, these shorts that I have open because they are paying out today. Uh, and then we will jump into the charts and I'll let you guys know what I'm thinking about Bitcoin. So guys, here we are. Uh, <clears throat> these trades are on KuCoin currently. Uh, typically, I do uh, place most of my trades on Femex. I'll mess around on KuCoin once in a while, uh, but typically I use Femex. They let you use more leverage without KYC. And, you know, they have a good selection of altcoins as well. You know, they have Bitcoin, Ethereum, and then a good selection of altcoins. So, I, you know, I typically use Femex, but KuCoin is great too. If you guys are looking to make some money while the price is going down, because, you know, a lot of people are afraid uh, when the price goes down, but we're over here uh, sitting here and cashing out up 88% on our Bitcoin trade, up 98, almost 100% on our Ethereum trade, uh, up over $1,000 for these shorts. So, uh, if you guys want to make money while the price is going down, definitely go to FrankieCandles.com or check the link in the description. I do have a KuCoin link and a Femex link. Uh, I do know the Femex link gives you a deposit bonus. When you sign up using my link, you will get money deposited into your account. So you get a little bit of extra money and you help your boy out, Frankie Candles. So win-win uh, situation there, guys. But just wanted to uh, let show you guys these 88% and 98%. These are paying out today. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to Bitcoin. Let's take a look and see what is going on here. Look at this wick all the way down to about 30,300. Yikes, absolutely yikes, guys. Uh, we, are, we are coming down, right? And uh, I can't say that we weren't expecting this. If you guys watch the channel, you will know we were expecting uh, a big capitulation coming. Uh, now, I don't think this is the big capitulation we've been looking for, but look at that, guys. The summer lows are on the horizon. Let, let, let's just go ahead and uh, start here on the daily. Uh, we don't have to, actually, let's go back to the weekly, guys. I uh, do just want to bring this up. Uh, you know, we were warning about this a while ago. Weekly Blood Diamond is not a good look. You know, people didn't see the price drop to zero the next day and they were calling, you know, they were saying, you know, Blood Diamond, what are you talking about? That's not gonna play out. Here it is, guys. They take, these things take times to play, take time to play out. Uh, so here it is, uh, playing out in all its glory. Weekly Blood Diamond, right? We also have the monthly red X that is printing, not confirmed yet. Uh, but is playing out here. You see these red X's on the monthly time frame do bring us up, uh, do bring us down quite a bit. If you come down here uh, back to uh, 2017, 2018, right here, you'll see in the bear market, we printed a red X before capitulating down another 50%. Now this was kind of a black swan. This was in March of 2020. So I wouldn't really pay too much attention to this one, but you could argue that this one was kind of a fluke. Uh, but again, <clears throat> black swan event, you guys know what was happening in, uh, you know, March and April of 2020, uh, you know, definitely had some other factors at play there. Now, if you look back here at 2013, 2014, red X, right? And then right after the red X, you wind up getting another about 72% correction, right? So these things do not lie, they play out. Uh, so here we are. I warned you guys about the weekly blood diamond. I'm gonna warn you here again, monthly red X, this thing could bring us down a lot. Uh, so, I mean, we are already coming down. I mean, summer lows, let's zoom in here a little bit, looking at the daily guys, the summer lows. This was, uh, you know, I wanted to come on here and let you guys know what the next price targets were, but I mean, we are essentially just hitting all these targets. Uh, so, you know, our last target we were looking at when we, uh, you know, when we were uh, looking at this last week, we were looking at the 786 Vib level. We came down to test it, broke below, hung out below it for a little bit, then we crashed down. Uh, let me come down to a lower time frame so we can kind of see a little better. So we came down there, right? Halted out, hung out here for a little bit, went sideways. Boom, had a little bear pennant forming here. You can see that drawn right here. Uh, boom, came down for another leg. Came here, started ranging. Boom, came down another leg uh, to this level here at about 3365 or 33,653 right? Landed on this level, lost it, printed a bunch of yellow X's. This is the 45 minute chart, right? And then we came down. This was our next level at about 3178 or around 32K even. You know, we broke right through, tested it as resistance and came right down guys. 
and now we are currently sitting, you know, our next levels, uh, you know, I'm trying to find some hopium here, maybe a level, but uh, guys, our next level is right here. I mean, look, we're right here. The summer lows are right below us. Uh, I mean, this is not a drill, guys. We are, I mean, it is happening, right? We are now currently only 11% away from the summer lows. We're creeping up on them, guys. We're creeping up on them. We do have a spider line here uh, that we have found a little bit of support on, uh, zooming into the lower time frames. I mean, realistically, we are losing this level, guys. Summer lows are probably in play here. I mean, we are basically there. Um, I do think we can get there in the next day or so. Would expect somewhat of a bounce pretty soon though, guys. Uh, if we don't get a, a bounce before the summer lows, I would expect at least a strong bounce near the near the summer lows here, the top of this golden pocket. Uh, I will be keeping an eye on this level, waiting for price to come down to this level, checking the 15 minute for bullish divergences, right? Keeping an eye on market cipher B, looking at all the time frames, trying to find bullish divergences as we're approaching support, right? So we're in another situation here where you're waiting for price to come down to your key level. In this case, being the golden pocket, you're gonna be waiting for price to come down to that level. And as you come down to that level, you're gonna be looking for other confirmations such as, uh, you know, whether it's bullish divergences on market cipher B, bullish divergences on the RSI, if you're looking for bullish MACD crossovers, whatever indicators you use, you wanna find some confluence as you come down to this key level, looking for some bullish signals to put in a possible scalp long. However, be very, very careful. With the long positions, we're in a very bearish environment, so you wanna be careful. If you're gonna be longing off of these supports, you're gonna want them shorter term scalp longs, right? Uh, if this is a shorters market right now. So be careful with the longs. Doesn't mean you can't catch any scalps, but just be careful. Don't hold on to them too long and make sure you take profits and definitely set your stop losses. Um, so there you go, guys. Uh, you know, if we wanna check in on the DXY uh, as we typically do, uh, just kind of see what's going on over here. Let me turn off market cipher here. Yeah, I mean, we broke out of this resistance, right? We came down. We're now testing this level as support. Well, technically resistance at this point, uh, but just kind of dancing on this line. Are we going to find some support and blast off higher? Definitely possible, especially with the way Bitcoin's looking. So you could keep a look, uh, keep an eye on the DXY, uh, looking for that explosive move up for a further dump on Bitcoin. And then the SPY continuing to show weakness, guys. I mean, this thing has completely lost support here at this point. Uh, you know, if we go to the four hour, you did get that four hour yellow X, right? This could have given you a nice warning sign that you were going to come down a bit, right? So you got the yellow X dump. I was saying right around this level, you want to be really careful. If you start printing more yellow X's here, it could break you through this support. Didn't get the yellow X, but we did indeed break support. Now, uh, continuing to come down. Uh, not looking good for the SPY. Uh, you know, you did have, you got bounced, you bounced a couple times right here, but we are broken through that. Looks like your next level is uh, probably gonna be somewhere in this range, uh, right about here, somewhere around here, uh, looking for some support. But right now, not looking too good. Ethereum absolutely hammered at about, coming in at about 22, 20, uh, 23, 25. Ah, oh, God, two yellow X's on the four hour, not looking the best, guys. Uh, just really looking like a shorter's market. Again, uh, the Bitcoin coming in at 30,000. Uh, you know, let's get a little closer here. 30,805, I do think. I mean, guys, we're right here. Summer lows are right here, right? Uh, you know, about 6% away currently. Uh, this is the one hour chart, so about 6% down. I mean, this is nothing. We're, we're most likely coming down to test these summer lows. Again, gonna be looking for possible scalp longs, gonna be taking some more profit off of my shorts uh, when we get down to this level, if we get down to this level. Um, but there you go, guys. Absolutely brutal out there. Absolutely brutal. Uh, Bitcoin taking a huge, huge hit right now. Uh, but like, hey, like I always say, if you watch the Frankie Candles YouTube channel, you were prepared for this, right? You know how to short the market, so you could be up uh, big time on your shorts as well. And I hope you guys are. Uh, these are kind of my thoughts, guys. Waiting to get down to that golden pocket. If we do, looking for those bullish divergences, looking for the confirmations, pointing in the upward direction to take a scalp long. And then we're gonna take that little scalp long, grab our bag, grab out. If we come up a good bit, maybe adding a little more to those shorts. And I will keep you guys updated if I do wind up doing that. With all that being said, guys, I think that's all I got for this one. Like I said, I did just wanna keep you guys updated uh, before we hop on the live stream. Uh, at 545. Just want to give you guys a quick little update, let you guys know what I'm thinking. Uh, but essentially, we just, I mean, we're just hitting every single target on the way down. And we're out of targets, guys. We're out of targets. The next big target is the summer lows. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I didn't think it was going to happen this quickly. Uh, but here we are.
So guys, I hope that helped you out. I hope this clears things up. You know, if you guys are feeling a little wish-washy about the markets, we do have that big golden pocket underneath us. So uh, keep an eye out for that bounce. That's all I got for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Frankie Candles out. Here we go. At the top of the class on a roll. And it's time to run it up. Yeah, you know. Maxed out. Put the pedal to the floor. Hey, On a roll. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, we winning by a landslide.